Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Activist Sunday Buhu would have a tough time getting top politicians in the Southwest to back his secessionist agenda. Leaders of the All Progressives Congress in the region have condemned separatist agitations and pledged their commitment to a united Nigeria. The decision was reached at a meeting of the leaders in Lagos yesterday. Um, let's now take a listen to Southwest APC governors, you know, during that meeting with uh, Ashiwa Jubola. We express our strong opposition to separatist agitation and hate speeches, while urging those indulging in such to desist forthwith we renew our belief in the unity, stability, and sustainability of the country. We're now being joined by APC Chief Tain, Mr. Joe Ibukwe. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. So before we go into the response of, you know, the APC Southwest governors to this, you know, secessionist agitations, I want us to talk about that secessionist agitation in the first place. We know that Sondo Boho and his, you know, team have been agitating for a separate nation, a Yoruba nation, an Odua nation, and all the names they've been calling it. I want you to make comments on these claims that we've been seeing in recent time and how it's been affecting, you know, the Nigerian polity. Okay, you know, I'm a student of the Bible, and the Bible says that um, war should be tied a nation whose uh, leaders are kids or whose leaders are babies. Uh, elders cannot be at home, and children will put their hands into um, a raging fire. Um, this is not the time to talk about it. We are talking about the greatest country in Africa, the greatest economy in Africa, the greatest population, the most educated country in Africa. Um, we are witnesses to what happens in some other nations that got separation, you know. We are talking about Sudan, South Sudan, Northern Yemen and Southern Yemen, some countries in, 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 in Asia, Russia, you know, and Crimea and some other countries, you know. And you, you will notice that it's not a bed of roses. And um, for us in Nigeria, a lot is at stake. A lot is at stake. And we need to come together to build this country. And that's why leaders of Southwest should be encouraged for what they, 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 what they did yesterday. That is what is expected of elders. Elders must rise up when children are playing with fire because they don't understand that there are so many things that are at stake. A lot of bridges have been built, we have in, in, in intertwined together and have woven together for years. And it's, it's, it's not good for us. The world is looking for big markets, potential markets, and we are talking of small, small divisions, small, small states, you know, small, small countries, you know. It will not help us, judging from the histories of other, of other nations that went that way. Mm -hmm. right. I don't think we need to play with this, this country, you know. So that's why we need, others need to speak and talk to young people. That's not the way to go. It's, it's not going to be the end of the problem. When Saddam Sudan was leaving Sudan, they thought their problems were over. But look at Southern Sudan today in a serious mess. So, and we're learning from all those countries, Somalia. You know, I can name them all over the world. So we, we have to learn a lesson from those countries. All right, so, so and, Mr. Bokwe, is this saying... Help to build. Uh, because what you've said is, you know, that now is not the time. That's how you started this. Um, so, but, you know, what's your response to the reasons for the uh, calls for secession? You know, they're saying that the structure is not working for uh, the Yorubas, and that's the reason they want secession. They've also named some of the ills that are currently bedeviling Nigeria, security-wise and, and others. Um, so do you think that those concerns are legitimate and they have um, genuine reasons for making uh, those concerns, but um, calling for secession is just not the answer? Is that what your point is? So if you, those who think that once you get a separate nation and all your problems, you just vanish overnight, it's not. 
That's why I cited countries like you know, Somalia, you know, northern southern Yemen, uh, South Sudan. The problem will not vanish into the thin air. It's all about dialogue. And, and the things are talking. We are better united. Even if you speak the same language, it does not guarantee justice, equity, and fair play. So we are better united. Nigeria forms a big market. It's a big market for all of us to play. You know, that's what we are from South East. That's what we are saying. Hmm. That's what we're telling our people. You know, but, but but isn't it? We are better united. Nigeria forms a potential market for every. The big Nigeria is better for every one of us. When but you, I agree with you that like, there must okay. be issues of justice, equity, yes. and fair play. You know, no nation has ever solved its, its you know our problems. In 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 Canada today, they are still battling with issues of federalism. They are still battling with it. So we need elders to speak up so that. We will have some structural you know, changes that we that will make things easy for people. If you don't have you don't have a one hundred percent nation where everything is going on fine, you know there must be infractions. There must be issues. It is the ability to resolve these issues when they come that makes it, that makes a nation. It shows that nation the nation has leaders. When you have this kind of thing, the elders will come out and speak. That's what we're expecting from other zones in the country. Okay. Let the elders speak the truth, and then we'll, we'll move. Mm. Okay, so Mr. Ibokwe... So whatever happens, we'll, we'll all still go back to the conference table and resolve it. Mm. Okay, so in a situation where, because we know that, um, you know, these, these, this group of people, they protested in Akure on Saturday, and in a situation where they say make statements like, the Yorubas are tired of being slaves to the north. They also go on to say that the Yoruba nation has all the resources to yes. be independent. I cannot hear. All right. Mr. Abukwe, can you hear me now? All right. So I apologize for that. And um, we will definitely continue the conversation regarding calls for secession in Nigeria and the response of Southwest governors. Now, moving on to our final conversation on the breakfast, what would you do? If your wedding date clashes with your examination, would you sit for the exam or go for your wedding? Well, a lady in Abuja did both. A 300 level student of the University of Abuja didn't know that her CSC 3 to 1 exam will clash with her wedding as the university kept adjusting her exam timetable. Um, uh, here's a video of the bride sitting in the exam hall uh, waiting to take that paper and then rush off to the wedding. All right, so I apologize we can't bring you that video right now, but sadly, um, it's, it's been making the rounds on social media in the past, you know, over the weekend. You know, the lady seated in the exam hall wearing her wedding gown. And I, I have lots of questions. Even though people were saying, oh, that's so romantic, that's so sweet. And yeah, if you watch the video, you see people say, aww. Oh, but I'm like, <laughs> why did you have to wear your wedding gown to the exam hall? I mean, you could definitely change. Well, she you probably have time to change. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not trying to fake, you know, you know, the fact that I have similar thoughts. You know, there's enough time, you know, in the, in the drive between, except the wedding and the, um, except the wedding was held in the, you know, on campus. Uh, was held, you know, next to the exam hall. You know, there's enough time for you to change, um, you know, into something else. You know, your way to the wedding. There's enough time, you know, somehow. So because I'm sure you knew they didn't call you, you know, at church and say, oh, the, the exam is by twelve o'clock, and you're like, oh, pastor, please, I have to go. Uh, honey, please, please, let me go and read the exam first. I mean, I'm sure you knew it was that same day. So there should have been other arrangements. But you know, the thing is, you know, we really don't know, you know, 100, percent you know, why that had to play out. You know. Um, um, she, of course, has been able to kill two birds with one stone, I guess, you know, get married and at the same time, oh no. But I just, how, I how do you deal with that? Get married at the same how do you time. deal with that pressure? Because first of all, for, in my opinion, she's going to be a distraction to other people in that hall because people are there to write an exam and you can see all the attention on her with her Why is dress. the groom there? The groom is even standing there, you know, <laughs> as an escort. <laughs> what are you, is he writing the same exam? 
What is he doing there? Trying to make sure that she's writing well and, you know. Oga, okay, please go home. I, sorry, I'm not, I don't know how to ignore these, wow. you know, little aspects. I just feel, there. you know, it's a, it's you know, a good we like, moment. We like, we like a bit of drama. <laughs> so she came to give them drama. Maybe all her mates are told that she wouldn't get married this year. She came yeah, maybe. to show off maybe. and flaunt on their faces. Yeah, maybe it's those so people it's just... who, who are, you know, told that who we, who we marry this one. You know? <laughs> Can you see her walking out of the hall? Oh, this is, this is no. Really funny. This is really funny. I can't. I, I can't. Mean, I wish you, you could play the audio because you can see people doing oh. Oh what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could have changed after the exam. <laughs> um, so, so is this before or after the wedding? No, this they, they, they went for the exam first. Okay, and then from then, there. From there, they went for the exam. They, then they went for the wedding. I mean, the wedding time can be can be can be moved. Exactly. The wedding was meant to be for ten o'clock. You can say, oh please, we're going to exactly. start at twelve. Exactly. You can move your we're wedding. You can move the exam. You know. Yeah. You know, so if, if they knew, if she knew the, you know, the day before God that, oh. Did you hear that? God went. God yeah. went. <laughs> <laughs> if God went, what? I'm going to press the button. If you knew the exam, you know, what scheduled, you know, the, you know, maybe a day before you found that, oh, the exam is going to be, you know, this day. You can make other arrangements. You know, I'm sure that there's somehow, some way, you know, a possibility of making other arrangements, you know, for the wedding. You can't trip the exam. I'm sure they wanted to make a statement and they did, so. What end statement of, was end that? End of story. Uh, to trend on, on, on Twitter. To go viral no, with, on, I don't on want to, we're not sounding like haters. I'm not, I'm, of course, I, I wish her a happy married life and all of that, but just my brain can I, just Can I ask you a question, so again? Parts. If you happen to be in this situation and they kept shifting your wife's exam dates, mm -hmm. If and it, it happens the exam to be is important to her. I would definitely like her to write that exam. You know, and, and she she wants to go there, you know, all dressed up. Gown. Yes, she wants to she wants to stunt on her classmates and look them in the eye. That you know, I am I'm about to get married to a presenter. Who no, like, let, so, so who's, who's is, your yeah, boyfriend? I, I, I want to let's let's hope you know, and I want to believe that you know this just couldn't be avoided. You know, it okay. probably wasn't pre-planned. Yeah, let's that believe that. Wedding let's, let's believe that. Let's believe that. Um, you know, but you know, does a husband really have a say? I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think you know, you would always be able to do the whatever makes you happy in this mm -hmm. moment. You know, support her if she's you know you know you know short on time with regards to getting the example and also making the wedding. Mm. You know, support her all the way. Yeah, I, I think we should also be saying there. kudos to her for being able to manage both yeah. major events in one day. Yeah, what all was right. your husband doing there? That's my question. Good, good morning, assisted. anyway. <laughs> This is how we wrap up the program this morning. Thank you very much for staying with us and uh, kicking off the Monday morning with us. Uh, we wish you a beautiful Monday ahead, a great start to the week. Uh, if you miss out on any of us, you know where to find yes, it. Yes, it's at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And have you subscribed yet to our new YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle? Please do if you haven't and follow us on all social media platforms, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle as well. Um, have a great day. I am Aneta Felix. And I am Osao Gi Ogbawa.